It's still very weird seeing myself in that. Um, but anyways, let's. how about getting Tyler out here? Are you guys excited to see him? Well, let's welcome him to the stage. Hi, friends. Hi, Cor. Hey. What's up? I was going to stand and hug you, but I just hugged you back there. You can so. hug me again. Do you want a hug? No, I'm good. <laughs> a live hug in the Apple Store. No, um, thank you. When the trailer was playing just a second ago, someone was saying the opening line to the show. Uh, I think I heard. I was like, yeah. who was that? It's funny because I went... Put your hands right. together. I was like, I went to... So cringe. All of the tours, you did that. So, I mean, I was the same way backstage. Is that, I always had a question. In the trailer, is that your hand doing this? Wait, when what? I'm saying, put your hands together, and then you're waving at someone, blocking my face. Oh, <laughs> It's pretty. It's actually distracting and rude. I guess I didn't even notice that. Uh, this is actually an intervention. Oh. I brought you here today to yell at you for that. I'm kidding. Bye. Um, no, I was saying it's going to all the tour stops. I was the same way. I would memorize. I had that your opening memorized. So uh, hearing them say it was really funny because well, I, I think like, that's me. the only part you could memorize though, because most of the shows were like yeah. pretty different, and I always get distracted by what's happening in the audience. So it's like an hour and a half of me just. ADD looking at everyone in the audience and I'm like, it's going to happen right here and right now. I'm like, your hair is beautiful. Yeah, see, this is beginning. It's right now. It's happening. <laughs> um, so let's talk about the movie a little bit. What would you like to How know? How weird is it that today is finally here? Uh, see, today is him. here. I'm, like, I'm seeing people I know and everywhere. Um, today is finally here. It's very bizarre. Uh, it's one of those things where it's like, you know, well, I have a countdown. I always have a countdown to whatever's going on on my Twitter. And um, for the book, it started at like 150. It was like the longest countdown of all time. It was the worst. I hated myself. And then for the movie, we were gone for the majority of the countdown because yeah. we were on the race. And um, it was like I, I got to forget about it. And then I came back and I was like, we landed in America. And I was like, Corey... We've got a movie coming out this week. <laughs> I forgot about that. Um, because when, you, when we were on the race, it was just like completely different mindset. Um, but yeah, it's finally here. It feels very good. Uh, I've been reading my Twitter replies all day. Everyone's like, just got the movie. Can't wait to watch it. Or they're showing me like screenshots of the opening, um, the credits, yeah. where it's, uh, it's the most bizarre thing because when I first saw it for the first time, it's, it has uh, the 20th Century Fox logo like the what's that how's that go that song you have da, the, da, flute, da, the like recorder da, version da, 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 da. that's copywritten i thought I'm you sorry. were doing a star wars mm, <laughs> intro. it might be yeah. i have no clue but it, that's the intro for it and it's very bizarre because like to come from making videos with a little crappy camera uh and then to see that intro that's like so widely known and regarded um it feels like a big moment it's a big old step yeah it is a big step it is a big i watched step. it on the big screen last night the biggest step <laughs> what's your favorite step oh like a step i was gonna say like one step, step mother at a time by jordan oh one sparks, step at a time by jordan sparks okay um yeah. same <laughs> So the premiere last night. Yeah. You were terrified that no one was even going to come. Yep. <laughs> and then how many people were there? Uh, it was packed. I was so happy. There were a whole bunch of YouTubers, a whole bunch of y'all. Wait, was anybody there? Nobody was there. Okay. I was like, how would you do that? Um, the same way we did. They'd take a red eye flight. Got it. You'd fly <laughs> on the flight. Or fly on the flight? Well, yeah, you would. You'd sleep on the flight. Um, yeah, it was packed to the brim. I was so happy. I was very surprised. Um, because it's like in L.A., there's a million events going on every night. So I'm like, surely there must be some other premiere everyone has to go to. So I was planning on just going and being alone at the carpet with you. <laughs> Which would have been fine. Which would have been, been okay. Would have been okay. Um, but yeah, a whole bunch of YouTubers were there. A whole bunch of... Some actors were there. Some um, A whole bunch of viewers were there. A bunch of our friends that don't know what the internet is were there. Um, Your parents were there. My parents were there. Queen Jackie. Uh, it was her first red carpet. She killed it. Um, she straightened her hair. I thought her hair looked great. It was a look. I mean, it was a lot of look, but it was a look. I was into it. Um, I'm thinking about it. Yeah, she wore black on black, as she should. Killed it. Right. Um, it was fun. It was great. 
And uh, it's so bizarre because usually, like, we go to a lot of premieres or red carpets and stuff for work, and we're usually on the other side of it all. So I'm on the press line trying to get Lady Gaga's attention, like, please come talk to me. And she ignores. And uh, so it was very weird to be on the other side of it and going down the line talking to everyone and uh, people in onesies. Do you guys know who Hunter March is? Yeah, so he hosted the live stream and um, he had, uh, first of all, a tuxedo onesie, which was a lot, it was beautiful. And then at the end of it, did you see what I happened? I didn't see it until today when I was flying. It was the most disturbing thing I've ever seen. He was like, live on the live stream, he's like, we have something I wanna show you. And I'm like, oh God. And he starts unbuttoning his onesie and I'm like, okay. <laughs> and then he like opens it and it's a painting on his entire stomach of my face. And I'm like, this is what nightmares are made of. This <laughs> and then he's just like saying sentences that I would say, but like doing this. And so body that would, rolling? So that the mouth would oh talk. My. I'm glad I missed that. Like, it the was, it was a lot. But yeah, it was a good moment. Um, you know who else was there that I was shocked was uh, in attendance? Jif the Palm? I saw that too. Jif Palm? Is that what? It, I don't know. A, a famous dog, which I felt like uh, was... Uh, that's that's it, it. You've that's made all, it. I've made it. Yeah. Jif Palm came to my premiere. <laughs> he was there. Uh, he or she, I don't know what the... Don't gender my dog. I'm sorry. Thank you. Um, going back to Queen Jackie for a moment. Do we gotta? Yeah, because okay. we have uh, clips that we were going to sure, show. Sure, yeah. And there's one of them is of Queen Jackie. So I thought that would be a good place okay, okay. to start. Do you guys want to see it? That's my mom. She's great, right? She's all right. She's okay. Uh, she is killing it on Twitter right now. Really? 65,000 followers. My gosh. I mean, I, that's scary. That's a lot of power with somebody I don't trust. I'm like, <laughs> she has access to every embarrassing thing I've ever done or said or a picture of it or a video of it. I'm like, she could ruin me. So Truly. Watch out. Follow her if you want to see that. Um, no, yeah, it was really cool to have uh, my mom come out. It's not just for the premiere, but she came out for one of the tour stops in Atlanta and um, you get to see it in the movie, and it was one of my favorite stops because anytime there's somebody in the audience that I know or anybody uh, that gets to come to the show that I know, it's, it, it, I guess, uh, makes it so much f fresher for me because it's like, oh, my God, somebody who I'm, like, scared will judge me. Like, I, I feel like we all get along and we get each other, but a lot of the people in my life are like, what do you do? What's your show? Why do I wear a onesie? And I'm like... Just come, you'll see. Um, and half the time I'm afterward, I'm like, so what, what are your thoughts? Um, that was the vibe of last night uh, with a lot of our friends. I was a little nervous, especially, well, not necessarily for, we had a lot of, we work out with like a big group of people and a lot of them came out to this, uh, the premiere last night. But they all, all came to the... Um, Anaheim show. The Anaheim show. And I think it was like 20 or 30 people in onesies and I was very impressed. So to see them all get all dressed up and decked out, I was like, okay. They told me that they preferred to dress up to go to the premiere than wear the onesies to the really? show. Really? Yeah. I thought there were going to be more people in onesies at the premiere. I know. I only Which saw a few. Is, I mean, li uh, live your dream, whatever you want to do. But um, everyone was asking me if I was going to wear onesies. And I was like, eh, eh. no. no. <laughs> um, I like that clip with your mom, too, because she says, nervous in the clip. Yeah, so that's where the title came from. Uh, when we were looking for a title for the movie, um, that's the hardest thing because it was the same way with the book. There were a million ideas um, and a million things that it almost was. And we were like watching the movie over and over with like the, a fine tooth comb trying to find words or phrases that really stood out to us about uh, th that we thought like encapsulated the themes or what it felt like to make the movie or what the, we felt the movie was about. Um, and when we were talking about Snervous, uh, to me it really speaks about what my whole year has been. Um, and when I saw that the movie was more of a year in the life than just looking at the tour, it just felt right because I have, I guess for the first seven years of YouTube, uh, been pretty reserved about what I've shared. Like, obviously, I'll overshare and probably to a degree that's inappropriate. But uh, this year, it was like sharing stories that I guess I wasn't necessarily ready to share. And whether it's personal or 
um, about my relationships or my family or my childhood or whatever, um, or behind the scenes look of what I do day to day, I, I had never really been ready to do that. And when I thought about doing it this year with the book and the documentary, I was definitely both scared and nervous. And um, a thing that I think, the, separate from all that, a thing that I think that the documentary explores, hopefully, is the idea that you don't have to be nervous. And by just being you, you, you can achieve what you want to do. And um, just by embracing your personality, you can be just that. Uh, and you don't have to be nervous for what life has to throw toward you. That's, that's that. beautiful. So that's, that's what the, the title means to me. Yeah. What's uh, it mean to you? It means scared and nervous. Got it. And it's just something that you and, have, you and I have always said. Yeah, we used to always say it in college. Um, and then it kind of seeped its way into the podcast a lot. I think, well, just day, day-to-day life. Day-to-day life. Yeah. Well, that question uh, Oakley Angels asked, so I was trying uh-huh. to get there. Wait, oh, I was like... Is I don't think, here? no, these ones no. were tweeted okay, okay. in. Okay. Um, we'll get to their questions in just a moment. Cool. Uh, I have another Twitter question, though, from uh, Emma Kirsten1. She wants to know, what was the hardest part about making Snervous? The hardest part about making Snervous... I also want to hear your answer. Okay. Um, for me, it was when I saw the movie for the first time, and I was like... Well, before I watched the movie, I, I, I told myself... If I don't think this is worth putting out there, I'm going to literally just call the production company and say the truth and be like, I don't think anybody will care and we shouldn't put it out. If, if I didn't like it, I was like fully prepared to tell them it was a fun run, but nobody needs to see it. Because to me, I'm like, I don't want to put out crap. I don't want to put out something especially if people have to pay for it because everything so far has been free with YouTube and podcasts. It's like, I don't want to tell people to buy something because I know the value of their money. I'm like, I used to be 14, 15, 16 and work for my minimum wage. Like, I I don't want to tell them to spend their money on something that I don't think is worth it. So I was very nervous for that. That was one of the hardest moments of like, right before I push play, because I was like, this is going to be shit. Um, but I, it wasn't, I don't think. <laughs> so No. Uh, I, I mean, I got to... You flew here last night. Yeah. I got to sit uh, at the premiere and actually watch the movie. And I had seen it a few times on my own through the editing process. But watching it last night in a theater full of people, it was so much fun... I'm so to jealous. ...to see what parts they thought were funny. Yeah. And just the different reactions. I mean... You know the experience of watching a movie in a theater. With it's other so people. different, and especially like when we would watch it, it would be more of like a critical eye, not to yeah. be entertained. Um, I did cry the first time I watched it. I cried even like when I was five having five times a the first time I watched eye. it, um, and I cried in in the footage of it. I'm like a mess. I'm always like red and like weepy. Um, yeah, I w- did my mom like it? Yeah, she did. She texted me. Good she job. She said she didn't cry. I was like. Great review, thank you. Uh, I was. She didn't cry. I was surprised because she said she steel. didn't cry, and some of the other. She uh, cries at everything. I know. And some she, of th- if she were to see this iPad, she'd be like, "That is so clean," and like cry. But no, some of the other YouTubers that were there came up and hugged me afterward and said that they teared up and they cried. Uh-huh. So it was interesting to hear your mom, but I think she was nervous and just wanted it to yeah. go well. Yeah. Huh. You'll have to. Yell at her. I'm for not gonna call crying. her and get a full review. I'll report back. Did you want to know what I thought the hardest part was? What did you think? So it takes some getting used to to just having cameras follow you around. Obviously, it's very different than making a YouTube video because you know when you're on and you know when you're recording. Um, so having the cameras follow us, I mean, when we started doing the movie, it was in May, at the beginning of May this year, and they followed us all the way through September. Uh, at different events and things. So that definitely took some getting used to. And then even the events they didn't come to, they wanted us to vlog. And they would text us and email us and remind us to film everything. It was just one of those things where it's like, I am not a daily vlogger, but they wanted me to be. And, but then also not give that footage to any of you. They were like, give it to us. Yeah. Um, and so every day something would happen. And they'd be like, we hope you're vlogging that. And I'd be like, I'm going to kill you. Yeah. Um, and like, like the most random days, especially when we're like doing our own thing. When we went to, um, we had we went on vacation. We rented a house. They were like, we'd love footage from oh, that. Yeah. I'm like, 
I'm sure you would. <laughs> but um, you're not getting any. And it wasn't in the movie. It didn't make it in the movie. It's me in a wig and all of like 15 gays and wigs. It's just like that shit. It'll go in the director's cut. Um, <laughs> and then what else? Uh, when we... Uh, when gay marriage was legalized, we were in San Francisco for the tour, and it's there's a moment in the movie for it, but um, I was uh, in Dolores Park, which is this huge park where everyone was celebrating that it had passed, and I was so in the moment, but then I had to be like, oh, I should film this, and yeah. so just having to always be thinking, like, this is good things that I want to share with you from my year, but... I, no, I don't really think like that. Yeah, and that day was interesting, too, because it was, like, one of our few days off in between shows, and it was a big moment that I think we both just wanted to celebrate kind of personally. Right. And they were like, Roy. film everything. Go do stuff. Go to the Castro. I'm like... Wave a rainbow I'm flag. I'm good, girl. I'm busy. <laughs> Later. Sorry, uh, new phone. Who is this? <laughs> um, Exactly. <laughs> Uh, no, I was saying I was saying how fun it was to watch with the audience, and one of the clips that they reacted really well to was the uh, nuts, backs, and critters oh, clip really? from your dad, and I think we have that one, too. It's the NBC clip. Oh, God. Um, so let's show that one. Sure. I like that clip because it's, uh, it's, it's a side of, I guess, like with YouTubers, like besides Colleen, uh, most YouTubers don't show their entire family, um, let alone any of their family. It's uh, there. There are a lot of people kind of more uh, withdrawn with the people in their lives. And um, for me, the documentary was a cool moment to share with you the people that really shaped who I am um, and who have been there since the start. Corey has been there since the start, but a lot more people have been, like my family, my teacher. You get to see in the movie. Um, a lot of people, like from my high school, my college years, uh, and to show those people and to give those people, um, I guess, uh, a bit of a thank you and to sh show the spotlight on them and be like, look at this human. They are one of my favorites for this reason. Love them as much as I do. Um, that was cool for me. And my stepdad is, uh, obviously my mom is more in the spotlight than he is, but he has uh, definitely changed who I am and made me who I am. So it was cool to have him be a part of it. Yeah, he was. I didn't even ask him last night about how he felt about his like big screen debut. Oh, I should I should ask. I know they were they had. He's to leave. so shy, and so he's always like Queen Jackie getting all the attention at garage sales. And I'm like, would you like me to give you a follow Friday? I don't know what you want from me. <laughs> he needs his own Twitter account. Heaven help everyone. Um, let's do another question. Uh, that was tweeted in earlier this week. Uh, Disneyland Tyler says. Ooh. I was like, are they here? No, um, they're not here. Uh, besides from I Snervous... Think they live in the UK. Oh. Besides from Snervous, if you could describe the film in one word, what would it be? Uh, um, I also want the answer from you. Okay. So start thinking. Uh, the film in one word to me... Um, I was going to say adventure, but also misadventure. Um, I like misadventure. Misadventure, but like MS period adventure, but like a play on words because it's a misadventure, but I'm, that's my drag name maybe. I don't know. I like um, that. Whoa, I just came up with something real quick. I Why did we so. waste so much time thinking of Snervous? I don't know. Okay, change it all. Change right the now. title to Miss Miss Adventure. <laughs> Ew, gross. <laughs> and you're like a toddler and a I tiara. I hate it. Yeah, a toddler and tiara drag queen. Miss Adventure. With a cape. Okay. They don't want to see it, I can tell from their reactions. <laughs> Theaters <laughs> this fall. Okay, what's your word? Uh, one word other than snervous? I don't know. That's hard. This question wasn't for me. It was for you. <sighs> Whatever. Um, I just I just feel like it was like such a... I feel like The big. Tyler Oakley tour experience? Yeah. That could be it. Part of me, colon, Tyler Oakley tour experience. Just like Katy Perry's part of me. I just want to say like true because I, I mean I was nervous uh, when we started doing the film because I knew how much of the year it was going to take up and I wanted it to capture something a little different than what YouTube videos yeah. usually do. So for me it's very true to life and true to what our lives are and what the entire experience of making the slumber party truly was. You know what I I was I really resented One Direction for a half a second because they got to name something up all night and I was like it feels right that the slumber party tour documentary could be called up all night. And I was like how dare they? 
steal that from me, but th- I guess it's fine. It's whatever. Anyway, what? I remember you were very upset about it. I remember that. exactly. We were driving somewhere. We were driving to the next tour stop, and I thought of it. We were in the middle of like hay fields and everything, and I, they like clicked. I was like, up all night. And then I was like, one direction. <laughs> How dare you? How dare they? Um, you want another Twitter question? Yes. Um, this one says, what scene out of Snervous means the most to you and why? Uh, ooh, I mean, everything is really good. I, obviously, I love it all. Um, there's a scene with my dad, and we're getting dinner, and we're having a pretty difficult conversation to have, period. And then you add a camera crew filming it, and that makes it even more difficult. And it's a really honest conversation we have about um, acceptance and how we used to have challenges, him and I, about disagreeing about me being gay and blah, 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 and all this stuff. And this was like a decade ago, so it's like whatever. But um, talking about that and talking about our journey and our relationship as father and son and how we kind of got through our challenges. We were having a conversation about that and we got it on camera. Um, it's important to me because it was, although it's, it's difficult to have that conversation, especially on camera, it was important to include in the film for me because it felt so much bigger than me and him. It felt so much bigger than our relationship or our problems. It felt like something that should be shared with especially the demographic that might watch the movie, yeah. um, who might be younger, who might be... Uh, figuring out their own identity and figuring out their relationships in regards to how those relationships feel toward those identities. Um, And it's not just gay stuff. It could be however you identify. And so to have that moment of uh, acknowledging, yes, we used to not speak because of it, but now we are getting through it because we took time, because we respected the relationship, and because we are working on it, I really thought it was important to show that although you might be in the middle of it right now and somebody might not agree with who you are or how you live your life, that doesn't mean that they won't come around eventually. Um, And so to show that in the movie meant a lot to me. Um, And I was really thankful that my dad was open-minded about filming it because it's not the easiest thing to do or talk about or own up to. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, I like that scene in the documentary too and it's, it's representative of how the year truly was and how, yes, there were highs and lows, but, and yes, there's a lot of funny parts in the documentary, but there's a lot of more serious parts too. And it shows some of those more serious relationships that you have with parents and with Mrs. Borton. Yeah. I mean, the, the thing about YouTube is it's, I mean, you know, it. it's a, it's a highlights reel of all of your favorite people. It's, Obviously, they're going to include the the most riveting edits and moments of their lives into five minutes, and you may watch and think, "Wow, this person is living such a you know fun, easygoing, positive life, and they have such a good vibe to them and whatever." But behind every five minute vlog, there are so many stresses and uh, I guess trials that they might be going through that are probably just like what everyone in your life are going through too. And I, I think sometimes the the idea of somebody having some type of elevated platform, you assume that they're detached from trivial problems. And there are stressors in everybody's life. And everybody has stuff. Everybody's got stuff. Um, and so for me to show that stuff was important because I hope that you, uh, the viewer might take from it, okay, sure, I might think of somebody as goals, but that doesn't mean that they don't have their own stuff that I, I think that I might relate to also. Yeah. If that makes sense. Well said. Whatever. Um, we have one more clip that I think we should show because a lot of the people said they haven't watched the film yet. Oh, really? so. Wait, you haven't seen it? Are, is anybody coming tonight? Oh, oh There awesome. are still tickets available if you want to come. Um, they're online. And it's, I like I said, it's them. a really fun experience. The people I'm going to be there. I want to see you there, so... Cute. Okay. Uh, let's anyway, play what's the clip? This next clip. I think this one's just you and I, and I think it was the very first day we filmed uh, for the documentary. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that first video is so funny because um, if you, it, it, leading up to that video being made, there were so many things in it that you were making fun of of me. Thank you. Um, that were like those videos that I used to make back then. I, I like I did a 
a tutorial on how to make friendship bracelets. It's privated now. Um, but like when he's like, bracelets rule, it's because I used to just make videos about I, friendship bracelets. I was like, literally just like constantly making videos about that. I'm that, like, I don't know why. That first year of our friendship, I remember you made a lot of bracelets and <laughs> got a lot of bloody noses. The so air that was, was very me dry. <laughs> and I had a lot of friends. <laughs> yeah. That's the two reasons for those types of videos. Um, yeah, no, it was... Uh, and, and I was making videos about that. I mean, there's a video up. I think it's still up. It's just of me with, like, I th think just, like, a huge um, tissue coming out of my nose, but it's all bloody. I had, had had a bloody nose while I was filming, and I was like, I'm just going to vlog 18-year-old me and, like, making a friendship bracelet. And I'm like, look at these designs, y'all. Um, and I would, I would literally, when people, because I had so few subscribers then that I would say, if anybody wants one, leave me a comment what colors. And I, would, I literally made them and sent them to them. And um, I made one for everybody on my floor. I was in, very yeah, busy that year. I was year. very busy that year. Um, but those were the days. Yeah. And I, like, I think that video, that was the start of us making videos together. Um, but we used to make videos all the time. We used to have a collab channel uh, with a couple of other people. And... Um, yeah, I mean, we back were... then it was so different because nobody was doing it full time, and it, it surely wasn't turning into podcast or tour or book or whatever or this or this. <laughs> and uh, it's it's very weird to look back at that time and think what the priorities and the thoughts were then because it surely wasn't yeah. documentary and hanging out with y'all today. Well, I know uh, that some of the people in the audience said they had questions, so I think this is a good time to take some from them. Um, I'm no gonna, pressure. I'm going to start in the back because she said they came all the way from West Virginia. West Virginia? Welcome. So you can just step right over here. There's a mic. More like best Virginia. Sorry for all the normal Virginia people. <laughs> um, you have a movie in the book. Now what's next on your bucket list? And can I, I came from West Virginia. Can I please get a hug? You may, of course, get a hug. Um, next on my bucket list, I want to go to the moon. It would come up to me. Thank you for coming. So good to meet you. Do you want to take like a selfie? Yeah, please. Um, yeah, I really want to go to the moon, uh, and I feel like that's doable. Here, if you post it, tag me, okay? Um, I want to go to the moon. I feel like they're definitely because aren't they doing like a charted flight? And you like, celebrities always talk are going? about but space I, to me, and I'm not into I'm it. I'm very into space. Um, vlogging in space, I feel like, is the final frontier. So that's definitely on the radar. Also, I'd like to take a nap. Um, those are my two priorities. I, yeah. I s didn't know because you did the live stream with Hunter uh -huh. before I did, and I was back further on the red carpet. And when I got to Hunter, too, he asked what was next for you, and I literally said, hopefully a nap. A nap and he is probably one rolled priority. his eyes because that was the exact that's same thing That's what I've been telling said. everyone, and I'm not exaggerating. That is my number one we priority at this exact moment. didn't rehearse that at all. I thought it was funny. We're when so I, in sync. No strings attached. <laughs> Next question. Hi. Hi. Um, okay, sorry. <sighs> okay. Uh, You're fine. No fret. <laughs> so for binge or snervous, um, you were talking about how you had some other names, like ideas. What mm -hmm. were like the best of the other names? Oh, God. Ideas? Wait, what's your name? I'm Dylan. I'm Dylan. Art Pop X Oakley. Oh, hi. Hi. Oh, my God. Hello. Also, can you um, get a selfie after, too? Of course, yes. Uh... Names that we had for the movie and the book. We tossed around. I wish I had the doc. I have the one. I know the ones for the for the documentary, but for the book, I don't really know what I'm you were trying to remember. Um, oh God, uh, <laughs> there were a lot of inappropriate names for the book. Um, in names that I was like, the publisher will never let me put it that. Uh, the, but the documentary, what were they? Um, they were looking like he. I mean, Tyler it said was earlier. a lot of like slumber party themed stuff. It was like just slumber party was like what it was. What we were thinking was going to be called. Um, they were looking. He and I looked through the film, like he said, really truly with the like. Nuts fine back and critters was comb. almost the title. They had talked about doing nuts back and critters. Uh, they talked about doing sugar fudge, which is a saying. How to pack a, a saying, suitcase. How to pack a suitcase, which is a line that is said in the movie. Also, it's the, I think it's the last scene of the movie is us packing. Yes. For well, packing a suitcase, and uh, oh, and I said I wanted to be a teacher someday, and you said what could you teach, and you said you could teach how to pack a suitcase. So that was going to be the the title of that. Maybe who knows? You just spoiled um, the whole film. Oh, for them. sorry. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, that doesn't spoil it. I don't think. Uh, but those are some. 
Hi, I'm Hi. Nora. Wait, what's your name? Nora. Nora, I like your hat. Thank you. Yeah. It was five dollars at Target. Oh my hey. god, get that. <laughs> so we had binge. Uh-huh. Then Snervous came out. When's the reality show? Oh. February. Oh yeah, February. <laughs> this spring on CBS. It's called The Amazing Race. Um, I don't know if I would ever do a reality show. I mean, the documentary felt like a one long reality show, um, except it wasn't scripted like reality shows are. I, I don't know. Maybe, are you, what if I did like... I think she's looking for like the simple life. Oh my God, with us? <laughs> Just the two of us? Oh, Corey and I were talking... Oh, Corey and I have ideas. Um, oh my God, I would never do Big Brother. No. <laughs> You would see me slowly go crazy, and with a 24-hour live, st live stream, I'm like, eh, eh, no, people don't need to see that. I was going to... I used to want to do Big Brother. We went to an audition for Big Brother, like, in college, like way back in the day. 2004. It was not 2004. Oh, well, that was my college, but not yours. <laughs> anyway, um, we went to, like, an open casting call, and no luck. You could do a, like a... The swan. No, like a flavor of love where you're like looking for Oh my God. To shot of love, what's it called? A shot of love with tequila tequila. With but a shot of, yeah, I could do that. Looking for love, something like that. And just like dating. Some, something like that, like flavor of love. You would do that? Yeah, maybe not at all. <laughs> that seems like the worst decision that could ever happen. Um, because I don't think those work. They like film those in this in like twelve days, and people are crazy by day three. They're like, "I want to marry him," and like, they've never be met before. So yeah, I don't think I want to do that. So may I don't know. Maybe next year. Um, Hi. Hi. So in YouTube, never have I ever. You said that someone rudely rejected you to collab. Oh my god. Who was that? I can't expose them. Um, I was like, I don't even know the answer to that. I. Uh, no, I can't expose them because I like them still. Um, they just... Oh, no. I, now I'm excited to find out. It was... It's not... You're, you would literally never guess who it would be. Um, they just didn't want to be... Oh, my God. I can't, I can't even explain it because it's going to 100% give it away. Um, it's... We, I still love them. So Have you collabed with them ever? Yes. Oh, so then you did, you did eventually. But the but the thing that I wanted to do with them, they were like, no, um, and it didn't happen, and we would never filmed that. Wow. Like, we never. We yeah. Anyway, so I can't tell you. I'm sorry. I'm the worst. I'm not gonna tell you. You'll put it in book two. I'll yeah. I'll expose them in book two. <laughs> um. So you guys are always a million places at once. Do you guys ever get tired of traveling? Yes. <laughs> that was yeah. like an eager yes. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I there's as much as I so when I first moved to LA, I was like, LA sucks, but I like kind of miss LA right now. I haven't been in a few months because of book tour and tour and then Amazing Race, and um, I miss my bed. Um, I love travel, but like the, I think it requires a good balance of like also home. Yeah. It depends on the travel. Like if it's vacation travel, I'm all about it. But sometimes when Corey's it's work like, stuff. Corey's always like, send me to Bali. Let's go to Bali. Yeah. Um, but no, I mean, especially after doing The Amazing Race, I'm very much looking forward to like being home in December and January. When we were coming here, I was with Lisa. I don't know where she is, my manager. Um, but we were going through the airport and I was like, it feels so good to not run through an airport. <laughs> Because on The Amazing Race, you're just sprinting every second and like looking like a crazy in the airport. Um, and I was just like sauntering through, getting a <laughs> vitamin water. Why not? It was just, it felt very like, I felt alive. Alive. I felt, no, I felt like free. Um, so yeah, I, uh, the question was, do you ever get sick of travel? And I completely went off track. Yes, um, you said The answer yes. is yes sometimes. Oh, hi. I love your shirt. Thank you. What's just, your name? Ayana. Ayana. I just wanted to say that I love you both and your outfits, and also like the poop chapter of binge made me laugh so oh hard. Like, thank you. <laughs> that um, whole sentence was a roller coaster for me, but thank you. <laughs> oh, sorry. I was just wondering. It's a bit physical question, but um, I was wondering if you guys could like recreate the the handshake you guys did on tour. Shall we? I was like, would you want to? I could do it. I'm like, I don't know if I remember it. We messed it up in the documentary. Shall we? Yes. Okay, so 
when Corey would come out on stage into my living room, uh, which was this stage, he we would do a, a handshake. What was the song? Oh, Katy it's Perry. No big deal. Yeah. I was gonna hold my mic and like no, just half. Well, come on. I'm putting it down. Come on. Come on. You don't want it to roll away. We'll do the fast version. It's inspired by the panel hand. Uh, in Parent Trap. And then I'm like, Corey, cool, everybody! I get afraid to uh, hit our hips together, and you'll see in the uh, documentary. Is it in the documentary? You show the bruise. Oh, do I? After um, the Once Corey San hit me Francisco so hard with show, his hip. Yeah. He's got a hard hip. Um, I was bruised, like, this much. And I'm like, afterward, I was like, I don't know what happened to me. I feel, like, so sore, and it hurts. And then I was like, oh, my God, Corey attacked me with his hip. It's yeah. true. I did. <laughs> it's true. Good question. That good was, request. I think that was a good way to end it. That was the last question. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. We well, are thank on you to so the much. next.